to my channel if you're new here my name is chloe and today i'll be showing you guys what is on my laptop so i have this really bad laptop that is really slow you can't really run anything it's pretty useful for absolutely nothing Okay, so before I actually show you what is on my laptop, I'm just going to tell you a few amazing things about this laptop. I've had this laptop since year 10 and I'm now halfway through grade 11. It's my school's one. My parents pay the school like $300 a year to have all the school like documents and printers and Wi-Fi on it. And then this crappy laptop. So I think this is the Acer Travelmate B11 something. I don't even know. This laptop started off pretty good, but then basically if I'm like importing a video into windows movie maker it has to like load it and then while that's loading if i try and watch youtube or anything on my laptop it freezes so much so then i just have to wait for it to finish so then i can continue using my laptop playing the sims on it is all right it doesn't work the best but you kind of have to expect that it's not going to work the best with a 300 dollars laptop that has four gigabytes of ram and sometimes word closes sometimes excel closes it's fun i'm just going to show you guys what is on my laptop so this is what my home screen looks like this is just a collage that i made it took like 10 minutes maybe i made it on canva and then i went onto this website called unsplash i'll leave it down in the description but it just has like all these non-copyright photos that you can use for like collages and stuff i think i learned that from julia k christ but anyway, I'm going to start off by showing you guys what is on my desktop. I don't like having a bunch of stuff on my desktop just because it gets like really overwhelming and cluttered. So up the top, I just have some of my school stuff. So I just have this assignment here, which I don't need anymore. It was for my media art for school, which I finished that unit last term. Next, I have my resume and cover letter. That's because I'm trying to look for a job. At the time I'm filming this video, I turned 17 in less than two weeks and my parents probably policy is that when I get my P's, which means I can drive by myself, I'm able to get a job because I can get myself to and from my job. Next I have 2020 and home. So 2020 is just my school folder and then home is my home folder. I actually changed the icons of my folders. If you want to see a video how I like change my dock and like folder icons, I can definitely do a video for you guys. But because I hate the look of the Windows folders, I just got a Mac folder icon and then just changed it. Next I have Bin. If you didn't know, you can actually rename it. And then I have Adobe Creative Cloud, which is for my school because for like media art and stuff, I have to use Photoshop and like Illustrator and all that. And then next is my Sims 4 and Origin, which is pretty self-explanatory. Origin is like the server that runs the Sims 4. And, and then the last thing on my desktop is my content planner, which is just my video planner, my schedule for YouTube and like my YouTube analytics and stuff that okay now moving on to my taskbar i hate when people have like their whole taskbar filled with apps and stuff my maximum would probably be like four or five so the apps that i have on my taskbar is word OneNote chrome files explorer and then my sticky notes which isn't actually pinned to my taskbar but i just keep it open all the time we obviously know what word is OneNote is just like a notebook i'll try and open it Another thing about this laptop, it takes forever to open stuff. Yeah, this is what OneNote is. It's just like a notebook kind of thing. Next is my Explorer. So I just opened it up to my desktop. So I'm going to come back to that in a second. And then the last thing on here is sticky notes. I'm not going to open that because it has some information on there that I probably don't want to show the internet. Now I'm going to show you guys what is in my 2020 folder and my home folder. Literally every one of my folders is the Mac folder. But in my 2020 folder, it is just all of the subjects that I do. So there's business, dance, design, English, maths, media art, and personal development. I'm not going to go into those because it's really boring. Next is my home folder. This is a really big folder. It's like 15.7 gigabytes. This is for my brother's birthday because he wants me to verify his channel. I'm going to print out like a little certificate saying like, oh my god you're able to get your 
channel verified or whatever my 17 birthday plans which is just like me planning who's going to my birthday which i don't really need anymore because i've already invited everyone i've already decided where i'm going so the next folder that i have is youtube so the three folders that is in my youtube is 2020 channel art and intros so just my end card my new intro my old intro just in case for some reason i want it back and then the subscribe things my title background is like this weird orange color with a few styles on it the next folder is add in screens so it's just any like quirky screens that you want to add so there's like the glitch thing that everyone does the loading please wait aesthetic thing the modern startup thing which is what i have in my intro and then the vhs play screen which i rarely ever use and then the last folder is videos so this is where all of my videos are at the moment there's five folders so in each one it just has all the raw footage and then the editing thing and then the thumbnail sometimes. And then the next folder that I have is final videos. When I finish a video, I just save it into that folder so that they're all in one folder and nothing goes missing. So that is all that is in my YouTube folder. So now that is all for what is on my desktop. Now moving on to my documents. So it's just my 2019 folder, which is my school folder from last year. I just have one folder in that, which is my graphics. And that's because it has like a PowerPoint in it that I really want to keep for future design stuff. Next is my Adobe, I don't even know what's in there. Premiere Pro, fun. Next I have contacts, I don't even know what that is. Custom office templates, which I think is like my templates for Word and stuff. Downloads, which I'll go into in a sec. Electronic arts for The Sims 4. Favorites, I've never used that. Fonts, I just download fonts and put it in here. These are all the fonts that I've downloaded. The fonts that the school provided me with are terrible, so I just like to get my own off to font. Next is music, which I'll go into in a second. Next is OneNote notebooks, which is just where my OneNote notebooks save. Next is pictures. I've got nothing in camera roll. Collages, because I was thinking of making Making like a little website for people to download my collages off just for free but i'm not going to release that yet until i have like a bigger following because there's no point making all these things for like five people next is iphone images so it's just some images that i've taken off my old phone saved pictures i don't think there's even anything in there yeah there's nothing in there next is wallpapers which i used to have stuff in i've only got a few my profile picture for my laptop is just these aesthetic little gold hearts i don't use that anymore mac background and then the last one that i have in there is the dancer's silhouette which is what i had as my background for a while and then i just have the collage that is my wallpaper at the moment and then I just have this star which I had for meteor art and then I just have this picture which is what I use for my profile picture. And then I have videos which I don't save anything in there because I just like keeping on my desktop. And then I have Zoom which was installed when I downloaded Zoom for my online dance classes. Now I'm going to move on to my downloads which is pretty boring. I just have like five things in there. So I have this mouse click sound which I use in my videos. Next is my choreographic devices and choreographic statement which is for dance which I'm keeping for my unit this term. But next is my Mac folder icon which is what I was telling you guys about before. And then the last thing is this profile thing which is for my academic review at school. So that is all for my downloads and now onto my music. So this is where I keep all the music that I use for my YouTube videos. So this is my dance warm-up routine voiceover, which was a video that I started filming, but I just didn't really like it and it was really bad. So I just didn't finish it. Next is my YouTube non-copyright music, which is all of the music that I use. So I have a separate photo with that songs with lyrics in case I want to use it for like montage or something. And then the rest of this music is just music with a beat and no lyrics. Next is YouTube sound effects, which I haven't added the click in yet. I've only got three things in here, which is the sensor beep sound, the pop sound, and then the last thing that I have in this folder is writing on keyboard sounds. And then I have a documentary film background music, which is what I used for my English assignment. And the last thing is the typing thing, which I can delete because for some reason I saved that twice. Now I'm gonna move on to my Chrome. So there isn't really much here. So down here is where I save all of my most used kind of shortcuts. I don't know how to delete them. YouTube is obviously YouTube. Gmail is my email. Outlook is my school email. YouTube to MP3 is what I use to get all my non-copyright music and like all those sounds. Social Blade 
and then I have the learning place which is just like a website for me to upload some of my assessments and then I have one school which is like where my timetable and stuff is on um and then up here in these tab things so I have apps which is just I don't know my school blocks some websites so that might be blocked and then I just have these folders so I just have home so I just have Pinterest YouTube Google Drive Gmail YouTube to mp3 Apple education store which is where I'm gonna buy my MacBook from 2048 which is just a game Netflix birthday countdown because I'm counting down till my birthday 7 plus which I watch Big Brother on and then Papa's Scooperia which is a game that I play at school next is my school folder so there's just my student internet which I used for online school and then I have student portal which is used to track my QCE points e-learn learning place I have one school my style app for my English class which is and then I have lemon milk font which was for media art next is purchases which I can kind of delete all of these because I'm not getting any of these there's the Apple MacBook Pro from Kogan next is my Canon EOS 100 bookmark Next, I have the refurbished MacBook Pro, dual core, the 2017 one, and then the refurbished MacBook Pro, the quad core, so that was the 2019 one, and then the 13 inch MacBook Pro Space Gray, the Apple Education. Next is job applications. So these are just some websites that I have kept so that I can apply easily. So the Subway, Coles, KFC, Hungry Jacks, Rivers, and then just jeans. And then the last two bookmarks that I have on here is my school email. And then the last thing is Indeed, which is the website that I use to search for jobs. I think that is all that is on my laptop. I that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also definitely subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And also turn on post notifications so that you are notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And also let me know what videos you wanna see from me down in the comments. And also if you just want to have a chat with me, definitely just comment in the comments and I'll reply to every single one of you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night, evening or morning, whatever time you're watching this. Stay safe and hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys. I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking.